welcome to a video where we want to show you what's new in MBS plugin and today we won't show you all the 6000 functions we have in the plugin so if you need something about PDF documents, barcodes, SQL commands, image editing or whatever please check our examples and documentation because today I want to show you a lot of small things which may not get into a presentation otherwise. We have a couple of nice goodies for MacOS and FileMaker. Let's start by launching FileMaker, create a new database, save and we go to a calculation dialog for example here one for the data viewer and when you enter a calculation here the plugin can highlight you the matching bracket for your calculation and we can change the font so when you have brackets square brackets curly brackets round brackets whatever the plugin can look for the matching ones and this is very useful and if you have some text in your calculation we can even find the matching quotes within the text string and that does not interfere with brackets outside the text so we can have here an opening bracket in the text and the bracket search will jump over the text and find the matching one on the other side. And if you have brackets which don't have a matching one, we already highlight them in red for you. Okay, let's write a script. Before we do that, we may need to define a new field for what I want to show you. Let's say we define here a global field. Let's call it global field. Create, options, storage, global, and OK. Make a new test script. And the test script, let's set a local variable. Local. One, two, three. Duplicate and now set a global one with two dollar signs and also set our global field to a value. And now we need an extra line for the breakpoint. Save. So let's say. We debug this, open the data viewer, current, and you see we can step through and we see all our stuff here. And if you have a lot of fields, a lot of globals, this list will become long. So let's put the focus on the data viewer window. So you see here the buttons get color. There's a blue line around it, so the focus is on this list now. And then in the list, I can use plugin features by pressing Command Option F, and it hides the global fields. And with Command Option G, I can hide the global variables. And if you look closely, you will see that we actually just change the high of this row to a very small number and this way they disappear. So I can show them again with G and with F the field. And if you have a lot of entries there, this will be useful to just hide a few of them. Next, you can press Command F and this shows the MBS search field available for a lot of lists in the FileMaker user interface where you can just type a search string 
like field and by pressing return or command G you can jump to the next one. So let's say we search for where return I now press command G G G G and I can just jump to the next one as well as here with with the buttons and I can click done when I'm done. So of course I can also copy the content and use the context menu. Now let's go back to the script workspace. Close this. Go back to script workspace. And in the script workspace I can press Command F to jump right into the MBS search field and search something. So global. Okay, it finds everything with text global. And I can just type a second thing here and type assets and it will find the line where I have global and assets in one line and as you may notice the field is named assets double column double column global field and it finds the global string and it finds the asset string and the order doesn't need to match. Very useful. So if you want to jump to the script search field here on the left side, we have a shortcut for you. This is Command, Shift and F. And then you can search here in the list of the, the scripts, which is a different field than the list. There's also here another field to search, but we have no shortcut for that yet. Let me know if you need one. So you can search here and the script workspace. And now let's go to the dialog for the layouts. So manage layouts. Um, in this dialog, of course, you can also search with the plugin. Because we made it for all lists, it appears here. Even so, FileMaker does have a search here. But now you can search with both and see which one is better for you. And if you select a few items here, we do offer a sort selection feature. So if you have a few layouts you want to sort by name alphabetically, you can do that with the plugin. Let's go to the field definition. Here the same thing applies, we can just select all the fields, can use sort selection and get them all alphabetically uh, sorted. As well as if you ever need a list of, of your fields, you can say here copy selection, go to a text editor and just paste it. Paste and you get the text you selected there. Okay, let's close. To control all these nice features in the MBS plugin, we have a preferences window where you can disable or enable all the features you like. And you can define the minimum font size for calculations. So if you like to have a bigger font than by default, I think default is something like 12, um, you may want to put a bigger number here. And for presentations, I usually put something like 20 there so people in the last row can read everything. And you can pick a font here for the script workspace. So if you like to get uh, some different font, you can pick it here and as you read here, you have to quit FileMaker because if you don't quit, you will see things like this where the, the lengths measured by FileMaker will not match the actual field there in the script workspace. So let's quit and relaunch. And now you see we have this font for the scripts lines and you can pick whatever font you like. I usually use a 
monospace font, like here this JetBrains Mono, which is a very nice font for developers because it has some nice ling ling natures. So I can show you. So here we, if we have some text with a minus and uh, bigger than, and you put those together, it draws a nice arrow. Um, there are a couple of things like this where you may like uh, to to use the font to well enjoy those. And while you are in this uh, calculation dialog here, you can actually use a plugin. Let's type something. Oops. Option tab three, option tab four, and now I can press Command I and see the invisible characters here. So if you are wondering why um, something is not working as desired, uh, there may be an invisible character here and you may not see it. <laughs> okay, and that's all for today. If you have questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. And if you have ideas for new plugin features, please email us as we add a lot of features over the year. And please also let us know what features you like best, so we can maybe put a little bit more effort there to add more in the same direction. Thank you for watching.